Well, hello. Join me at First and Lake in Milton Keynes, and I'm doing some short range, light tackle roach fishing on the feeder. Now, it's a method that it's becoming to the fore more and more when it comes to feeder fishing because, you know, we're doing more and more sort of feeder only events, and catching small fish is just as important as catching those big ones on some venues. So I'm here just having a bit of a bit of a practice really, and I thought I'd make a nice little video just to show you how I'm going about it. Now, firstly, let's look at the distance we're fishing. Obviously, to catch a large weight of small fish, you need to be fishing close to the bank. So I'm fishing at 15 meters today, which is perfect because I can be in and out quick. If I'm doing miss a bite, which you do miss an odd bite when you're fishing the feeder, I can load my feeder up and get it straight back in there in no time, in a matter of seconds. So to sag at these fish, I'm just using a super soft prototype 11 foot rod. Um, it's got a half ounce tip in it, really, really light and sensitive, which does two things. I can obviously spot the bites from these smaller fish, which obviously is important, but it allows me to, because I'm holding the rod at all times, I can, I can really use it to take resistance out of my setup. So if I get an indication, what I actually do, I actually like relax the tip. Every time, as soon as I get an indication, relax the tip, let the fish sort of pull itself on, and there we go. Just lift up and wind the fish in. No big strikes, there's no tightening right up to the feeder or anything like that. It's just a nice smooth setup and we're catching beautiful roach like that. Most chucks in. Odd time you come back with a, caught a lot of perch earlier on. But most chucks now, it's a, it's a nice stamp roach and you soon rattle, rattle the weight together when it's like this. So the setup, I've got um, a 520 centrist reel on, my usual go anywhere reel. I've got that loaded with six pound sinking feeder mono. Prefer mono for this sort of fishing. Just a bit, just so smooth and easy to fish. It sinks quick. I'm fishing really quick. I'm not having to worry about shockers or tangles or anything like that. It's just nice and smooth way of fishing. There's no worry seeing the bites. We're only fishing at 15 meters. Little tiny one there. But we're in and out all the time, and that's the key. Just using size 14 N10 hook, 014 AccuPower hook length, and I've got a little twizzle boom, a little feeder bead there, and I've got one of my own. I've just made, I've got a swivel running on the line, and I've just got a doubled up piece of 021 that I use as a feeder link down to a free hole feeder. Um, you could use a, a normal feeder link or whatever, it's not a problem, it's just. I like these little, really simple links made out of power line because just so resistance free when you're fishing for these little fish. So as you can see, I'm just holding the rod at all times. And I've just put enough pressure on the tip to put a slight bend in it. And like I say, as soon as I get an indication, if I think it's, there's a chance it's gonna be on, I'll move, I'll strike, but literally I'm only moving the feeder a few inches. If it's not the fish isn't on, I'll just relax the rod again and wait for it for another bite. So I'm not had a bite here because oh, it's a nice ag aggressive bite that one. Might be a perch. No, another roach. Now one thing. Can't stress enough is how important it is to be smooth and relaxed when you're fishing like this. And it all comes from the setup being right. So what I've actually got is a stop knot that I've tied onto the main line that's in my quiver tip now. So what that what that is is like a mark, I use it as a marker. So when I reel in, I just keep my rod low when I'm playing a fish, just wind it in, wind it in, wind it in. As soon as a stop knot goes into my quiver tip, I know the, the distance is perfect to swing the fish. So I can swing the fish to hand, net it, uh, well, swing it to hand, unhook the fish, and I can put the hook in my fingers like this while I'm holding the rod, rebate my hook, fill my feeder, and I've not had to touch my reel once to let any more line out or take any back or anything like that. And then as soon as the feeder's full, I can just swing it out, chuck it all in one motion, and then we're fishing again. Might only save you a few seconds each and every time you do it, but over the course of five hours, that, that difference is massive, and it just makes you so smooth and efficient. You get into a lovely little rhythm of Filling the feeder, unhooking the fish, hitting the bites, you know what bites to hit. 
when fishing for roach, bites on a feeder can be an absolute nightmare to hit. So, but this, is, this place is perfect for it actually because the bottom's so smooth. So like I say, I hold the rod, put a little bit of tension in the tip, not a lot, probably quarter of an inch bending my tip. Wait for an indication. Getting a lot of fish moving the feeder today, so I've got a little indication now. So I'll just let it develop, take a bit of, give it a bit of slack. I'll have a little look in a sec. Could be on. Is it on? No, but I've only moved the feeder a few inches. Good chance the bait's damaged. Oh, there's a fish on. So I'm just winding it in, just smooth, nice and smooth. Don't pump the fish or anything like that. Stop knots in the eye now. You swing it in, nice perch. And it's all to hand. Unhook the fish. I can rebait now, I've not had to touch the reel. Single caster on. Fill the feeder. Swing it out and cast. And that's it, as quick as that, back fishing again. So I'm feeding. This is the reason why I've got such a small feeder on because I'm just casting so often. I'll probably get through three kilos of ground bait today doing this. And the more you cast, you know, obviously you're putting bait through the swim, the bigger the roach you'll get. And that's what's happened today. They started off really small. As the session's progressed, we've got quite a lot of nice dumpy roach today. So just move that, fish is on, and we'll wind him in. Lovely soft rod. Stop knots in the ring. Swung to hand, little skimmer. So I just don't feel like there's enough bait in my ground bait at the minute. So just have this little bowl on my side tray. I'm just putting hemp and casters in, handful of each, and just mix it into the ground bait so that every time I load my feeder, there's a few of each in. Just like that, one squeeze, that's enough. Using about a 60 centimetre rook length today, seems about right. Not missing many bites, so. Good sign to look whether your hook length's the right length is if the fish are in the bottom lip or close to, then not a bad shout. As soon as you start hooking them deep, then your hook length's probably too long. So just something to bear in mind that if you are hooking them deep, try shortening your hook length by 10 centimetres or so, and you might just hook them better in the bottom lip. An indication there, just relax my tip and it's allowed him to pull it on. Just pick the rod up, pick the weight, took the weight of the feeder off the bottom, fish is on. Wait for that stop knot to come into the tip like that. Swing the roach to hand. So easy, so effective, and a beautiful way of catching fish. There we go, another one on single caster. So I'm just hate to repeat myself, but just whine until I see that stop knot go into my rod rings. There we go. Nice fish, swung to hand. Beautiful way to end this little session, this little video. Nice roach, hand-sized roach. Beautiful fishing. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below. I'll see you again soon.